What's good, y'all? I'm back with another story time. And this is a story of how I got curved on Valentine's Day. <clears throat> curved on Valentine's Day, bro. This is a very, very, very a rude awakening to my life. Learned a lot from this moment. And never again. It's actually created the demon I used to be. Before I get into this, before I get into this story time, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know what else if y'all want some more stories, bruh. I've lived a cool little. I mean, I'm still living, but like, I, I had, I've had a few experiences, you know. So I can give you some more story times. I got some more, some more. Not even motivation. I just want to. I got some more mental health content coming too, man. It's, mental health is real important, so. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, go shop, papestr.co. We got hoodies, hats, but we got um, crop tops for the ladies dropping soon. By the time it's on release, they probably already out. But yeah, let's get into the story. So yeah, this was, a, this was, this started in about 12th grade. Yeah, it was in 12th grade. I, I had transferred to this school. I transferred. I transferred from a private school to a public school. Two different counties. Everything. Like I only knew about one or two people going into the school. So I got through my eleventh grade year. Cool. Twelfth grade year. Come around. I got my group. I got my people I hang out with. I got. I know. Shawty's here and there. So you know, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm not. Yeah, I'm comfortable. So yeah, I have my friends, and I had a. I have a. I have a best friend. She's still my best friend to this day. But yeah, we went to the same school, and um, to this day, she's never put me on one with any of her friends. Ever. If I, if it was one of her friends, bro, I had to do the work. She's never did it. I don't know why girl best friends do that, but she never put me on. But this one time, I give her props. This one time, it was she had a friend. We're gonna call her friend. Give me a random name, random name, random name. We're gonna call him Ashley. Or Ashley. Yeah, fuck it. Her name's Ashley for this story. But um yeah. So Ashley Ashley was my best friend's friend. Like they were cool, like they knew each other for a minute. And she looked good. I was like, oh, who is this? I be seeing her on school, but who is this? She was like, yeah, that's cool. She said, she actually was talking about you. Like, she told me, she told me, she was like, yeah, she was talking to me about you. I said, damn, what's she saying? Like, why didn't you tell me? What's going on? She was like, yeah, I think he looked good, blah, blah, blah. She was basically just jazzing my head on Tyson. Like, just jazzing my head, regular flirting to, you know how girls talk. So she said, she said that to me. I was like, oh, okay. Immediately followed her on the ground. Followed her on the ground. I was like, it, it was it, it was within seconds. I'm not gonna lie, cause she looked good. I was I'm trying to get on that, and um, so we started texting. And then I would, like see her around school, cause like I wasn't the type like. Let's say you start talking to somebody new in high school. I wasn't really the type to like. Immediately try to like just be seen with you like. I'm going to text you first, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if I see you, I see you. I'm going to say something. Duh, I'm not a weird, nigga. But if I don't see you, I, I didn't see her for the rest of that day. So I started texting her. Like, All right, bet. Like, yeah, we was just talking. Was regular stuff. We get to know each other. What's your favorite color? Shit like that. All that bullshit. So we got to talking. I was like, yeah, I'm going to see you around school. So we started. I started seeing her around school. We started talking. Yeah, we ate lunch together a few times. A little discreetly, like it was cool. That was just cooling with her. wasn't too hot with it, but you know, that's what I was doing. And then it got to the point where one of us would call each other after school, we'd be on the phone at night. Like it, was, it got to that point. So then after, like let's say after a few weeks, I say a few weeks, because this was around like. It was around a little before, a little after my birthday. My birthday is in, um, my birthday is January 12th. This was a little after that when I started talking to her. 
So by like beginning of February, I was like, all right, I see you around school. I talked to you and I, I, I got to know you. I got to see you outside of school. I'm trying to bring this further. Cause like, look, she was, she looked good. She was, she, she looked good. She, 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 she put that, she, like she was cool. Like she was a cool female. I was like, damn, I can see myself kind of being with this shawty. Like, I don't see why not. I don't, I ain't get no bad rep about she just out here getting dog like i'm like all right that's the main thing like if I, if your reputation's good bro you got a chance and I, I need to know i gotta and then i gotta get to know you myself and when i saw what i saw was like damn she cool i don't got no issue with her i don't see nothing really wrong of course everybody got something wrong but like it's cool so yeah fast forward and then um we end up going to the movies and now i know i know my last story, or my couple of stories ago. You y'all know what I get, what I do in the movies, but I, I'm not on that no more. I'm not on, like, of course, I stopped doing that shit, but nah, that's how I used to get. But in this, in this case, this wasn't that. But yeah, we got into the, we got, we got into the movies, blah, blah. You know, we do a little high school shit. It was a similar high school shit. Just, you know, a little kiss here and there, bro. Just saw a movie. I forgot what movie it was. I don't really care, but... Yeah, it didn't go too far. It was a pretty cool date, though. It was a pretty cool first date. Well, first date. I was like, damn, I'm fucking with this junk. So I'm like, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep pushing up. I'm gonna keep trying to try my movie. And then... This is where the intuition kicked. This was my gut kick, now. I was like... I started seeing signs change. I started, I started seeing shit change. I'm like, damn, she don't text me as much as she used to. She don't answer the phone here and there. She'll still call me and she'll text me here and there, but it wasn't how it was. I'm like, damn, what's the date? Like, I thought it went well. Is this shit that ass? But then when I would see her in school, it'll be like everything back to normal. Or if we get on the phone, it'll everything be back to normal. But I'm smart. I'm I'm really observant. So like, I notice I notice change in behavior. So I was like, okay, something's going on. I can't start tripping. I've been talking to this girl for what? Not even a month. Probably not even a month. Maybe a little over a month. It was around a month. So I'm like, yeah, I can't start tripping, bro. But and then I was like, all right, I gotta do something about this because my I'm an overthinker, so I'm gonna think like, damn, is she out here really getting dog? Cause that's where my mind goes to immediately. Immediately, you getting dog. If 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 you're not texting me, but if we if we used to text all the time, we used to call all the time, and then that shit just cuts off. I think you're out getting hit. That's just what I think. I have a messed up mind. I don't know why I think like that. I probably have to work on that, but it is what it is. So I'm like, all right, let me ask around. Luckily, I was on a basketball team. So, amongst all of us, we knew pretty much. And some some people have like some of the, some of my teammates have known these these females like damn near all their life. They went to school together and all that. So I'm like, all right, let me let me get a drop. I'm I'm, I'm trying. I'm interested. I'm interested to see what's going on. So I asked my man. I'm like, damn, bro. Cause I didn't tell nobody about it except uh, my best friend. Well, she probably told her friends, but not everybody knows. So I, I was, I was telling my, uh, my guy on my team. I was like, "Yeah, you know this, Johnny? Yeah, we're good friends." Blah blah blah. Um, and I asked him. I said, "Damn, what's up with her? I'm kind of trying. I'm trying to get on this job. I was, I was basically telling him I'm on this job." The first thing this nigga said, this is the first thing he said. I mean, like, out the gate. Well, at first he was like, yeah, bro, she looked good. He was agreeing with me. But after that, the first thing he said, he said, but she been fucking with this nigga, this other nigga since freshman year. I'm in that jungle. Like, now, mind you, I could, I, I'm not. 
I was probably overreacting, bro. Like, cause I'm in, like, I didn't for first. I didn't even know that. I didn't know she had another nigga. I mean, duh, she probably did. But at this time, I'm thinking like, I was, a, I was, a, I was a goofy. I was, I wasn't a goofy. Never a goofy. But I was stupid. I was delusional. Like, I was like, damn, she not just fucking with me. Like, why would she even bring this up to my friend? My best friend, if she had a nigga. So I'm just confused. I'm like, okay. So he told me who the nigga was. This is a life lesson. Pause. Life lesson. If you find out a shawty you fucking with is fucking with another nigga, and you find out who that nigga is, don't ever, I mean, ever approach that nigga about a female, bro. Don't ever do that. I don't give a fuck if that's your girlfriend. I don't give a fuck if you're your Like, don't do that, bro. It's, it's, one, one is not worth it, two, like a hoe, and three, that's some hoe shit, so don't do it. Not on that. But, yeah. So, I get this information, I'm like, damn, straight? And this was like, let's say this was about roughly a week before, a little less than a week before Valentine's Day. It's probably like five days before Valentine's Day, something like that. I don't, I don't I just, this was years ago. But, it was right before Valentine's Day. So, one second. Yo. Yeah, um. What was that? So, I found out she was holding it. Fuck, I'm gonna start there. Yeah, so I found out she's fucking with him. And damn, I lost my train of thought. So it was about, yeah, it was roughly about a, uh, roughly a week before Valentine's Day. So, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't confronted straight up, because after this conversation, I was kind of blown. I was like, I think this was after, like, a practice or something. I was kind of blown. So I sat on it for a few days. What? Pause. No, pause, damn, pause, no dick. But, I thought, I thought about it for a few days. I was like, damn. I was just sitting there, like. Cause I, I was at the point where like I wanted to get into a talking stage. Cause I have at this point I had never had a girlfriend. Like I was I was I wanted a high school girlfriend. Like I wanted to see how it felt. I wanted all I wanted to just see what it was about. And I thought I found one. And then um yeah, so I thought about it for a few days. I'm like, okay, how am I about to approach this? Do I just ghost her? Do I approach her about it? Do I just start acting. I didn't know what to do. So I came to the conclusion that I was going to approach her. I was going to just ask her about it. Just be like, what's up? I just, I just want to know what's going on, bro. Because before I get in, into anything, I need to know what's going on so I don't look stupid. So this was, yeah. Valentine's Day came around. Don't know why I chose the day to do it, but it was the day I chose. What day it was, but it was Valentine's Day for sure. Cause I had a game that day. I remember I had a game that day, but I was hurt. Tore my ACL in, in a <clears throat> senior year, but I had a game that day. I had to go. It was an away game, far as shit. So Valentine's Day come. I know I, I'm walking around school like it's just Valentine's Day. Public school and they just getting each other's gifts. You know, there's couples here and there. Some people trying to get themselves a Valentine. So I'm in that joint like, damn. It's now or never, bro. Cause this can either go two, one of two ways. It can either she gonna be like, nah, I don't know, I'm not on that. She can either lie to me, and say she's not on it. She can be telling the truth and say she's not on that with with other, bro. Of course. She can lie about it or tell the truth about it. Or she coming with me. So I was like, damn. One out of three chances, bro. I'm gonna take it. So. It comes, I think, this was, it was like, it was my last period. Because I was not going to lie, I was kind of like, I was avoiding her. I was, I didn't want to see her throughout the whole day. So I was like, nah, I'm, I'm, I was a little nick. So I was like, fuck it. Last period of the day, I was in a science class. I'm like, you know what? I texted her, I said, where you at? What was or something? She said, I'm in class. I said, can you step out real quick? She was like, yeah, I'm. I told her where to meet me. 
So I step out of class and I see her. I'm like, okay. She looking good, bro. I was mad and shit, bro. She was looking so good that day. But I go up to her. I was just, you know, casual small talk a little bit. I forgot what I said, but then I got to the point. I was like, damn, what's what's this what's this I hear about you? You got a nigga, bro. And she was like, and she just started like, bro. <laughs> Bro, this is so embarrassing I'm looking back. She really laughed, bro. She laughed at me, bro. She laughed at me. I was like... Then she was like, who told you that? Like, you know how girls laugh covering you? <laughs> who told you that? I was like, bro, it don't even matter, bro. It's just like, is that what, like, do you got one? Because if you do, man, I'm, I'd be gone, bro. I'm, I'm cool. Cause I ain't about to just sit here and catch feelings for a bitch that. Let me see, sorry, not a bitch. Catch feelings for somebody who um who got a nigga, bro. I'm, I'm I'm not doing that, bro. Hell no. I ain't that stupid, but so I told her I was like, yeah, bro. I'm not I'm not really on that. So like, are you still messing with that person? She was so, like, she didn't want to say it, but she was hesitant. I saw it in her face that she was like, damn, this nigga called me. So she kept, like, dragging it out, dragging it out. I'm like, I, I got, I got, I was getting upset, but I'm like, bro, I just need to know the truth. So I can go back in this class and know how to fuck about a move. <clears throat> so, he said, what? Get out from now. So, yeah, I kept tall. I kept asking, like, bro. It got to the point where I was like, hey, bro, at this point, you either fucking with me or you not. Or you gonna go fuck with bro. And she sat there. It was a long silence. It was probably like a minute. She just sat there and was thinking. But I was just looking. I was like, shit, I'm waiting. And then she like whispered it. She was like, as long as you said, she just said him. I looked at her. I said, you sure? She's like. I said, all right. Walk back into class. And then she went wherever she went. So I went back there. I had to act like nothing happened. Because that was a class where I had new people. We would, we would talk and we would have fun and shit. So I was like, damn. So I was thinking about that shit for the rest of the day. Like, this is the first time I really got like, like, cause I've been rejected. Like, I've been like, I try to walk down the side. She's like, nah, I'm good. Like, that's cool. That happens. Like, that's random shit. But this is a girl I was talking to for like, at least a, at least a month. And then she had, and she was fucking like she was genuinely like fucking with me to an extent, of course, but. Yeah, bro, it was the first time I really heard some shit like that. I was like, damn, like, straight. And then she tried, I think she tried to text me. I just said, yeah, we've been on and off for years. Like, it's just, I don't see myself. I was like, all right, but it's cool. I was like, I just, I just went about my day. And then I remember I told you that that was the last period. That was the last period. So after that, we, we gone. Everybody on the bus and everybody outside talking like it's, it's just school's out. So the period ends. And I go, because I had like, I used to go to my coach's room and leave my stuff in there. So I went to my coach's room because I had to get ready for the game. And, um, so I'm walking, I'm walking back from my coach's room. And I, to, from the gym, my coach's room, I had to go downstairs and I had to walk down the hallway. And the gym's at the end of the hallway. But in the middle of this hallway was like a, a big thing of steps. And like under the steps where people used to hang out, they used to do like little performances, right? It was it was like a little a little common area. So that's where everybody used to be at school, after school. So I'm walking, I got my stuff, man. I'm like, damn, I'm just I'm just I'm just in a, a mellow mood, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. And I got and I can't even play because I'm fucking hurt. So I'm just gotta sit and watch these niggas. That's already blowing me the whole year, so that just added on to it. But yeah, I'm walking down the hallway. 
And guess who I see under the steps? I see Shawty. I see her from a distance, but like, I swear this, I swear to God, it was some movie shit. I see her from a distance. I'm like, damn, I gotta walk past her. Fuck it. I'm just walking, head down. I got my headphones and I'm cooling. Tell me why the nigga gives her flowers while I'm walking down the hall. So I see, I see the exchange, like the uh, flowers, whatever. I don't know. I saw all of saw was flowers, but that's what he gave her or something for Valentine's Day. So I see it. And he gave him a hug. Walked past him. I said, damn, bro. Literally 10 minutes earlier, she just told me that. And then I see that, bro. So I'm in my mind like, bro, fuck her, bro. Like, fuck this bitch. Like, I'm ready to crash out, bro. Like, that was the first time I genu like, genuinely got my feelings hurt. Like, in my life. I mean, yeah, the, I mean, like, by a girl. But, like, the first time in my life I genuinely got my feelings hurt by a girl, this was this, was this moment. So I'm like, all right, bro. So I just put my music in. I probably had some YB playing or some Dirk playing. I was, I was mad. I wasn't mad, but I was like blown. But that shit blew my whole mood. So, push comes to shove, bro. I just free it. I'm like, fuck. This is ass. And camera turned off. But uh, yeah, I was like, damn, this is ass. But at the end of the day, bro, you got to keep pushing. So that's how I kept telling myself. So I got to get on this long-ass bus ride. I got fucking sad music in my ears. I'm in that jump. Mad as shit. So I go through the game. But the game don't matter, bro. I was just pissed. Bus ride back. I started thinking. I'm like, bro. I got to show that, that like, I got to remember who I am. I got, cause I've always had, I've always had shawty, but I just like, I ain't really start hitting them till late high school. I've always had them. They were there. Like, but, like, that's, that's, that was, that was, I was like, damn, I gotta remember who the fuck I am. Like, I can really do, I can really go out here and do what I need to do. So, you know what, let me, let me lock in. You know what I did? Next day. To the next day. Even if I have to come back tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Got in some buns. Fucking talk. I, I felt so disrespected. I was like, fool. She just told me this to my face, bro. All right, I'm, about to show, I'm not even about to show you who I am. I just started hoeing, bro. I can't lie. This is young me. This is not what I would do now, but it's what I did. I ain't. I couldn't hoop. I was hurt. Couldn't hoop. Hooping was my was my escape. Couldn't uh, hoop. I ain't really had no other passion at the time. So I was like, fuck it. I'm about to start home and get some bitches. Start again the next day. Phone call, Mr. Plankton. And the next day. And the next day. Hit the jump. Bye. And then it started a cycle. I hit like two more after that. Like within that month. Like within February. Two more after that. And then, after that, that's when I got in my first relationship. And that's a story for another day. And that was the moment that started my villain art. I started going crazy. All right, if y'all enjoyed that video, man, let me know. Cause this is a very embarrassing story, bro. It's cool, bro. You live, you learn, bro. You live, you learn, bro. Lessons you can get from this. Don't ever approach a man about a female. Don't ever do that. Two, don't let your guard down too quick. Don't be vulnerable too quick. Cause some females are are vultures, bro. They will, they will feed off that shit and they will use it against you. And 
third lesson, life goes on, bro. You're going to get curved. You're going to get your heart broken. You're going to get... Somebody's going to do you wrong. It happens. Life goes on. If you want to forgive, if you love them that much, forgive them. If you don't care that much, move on, bro. Don't, don't hang on to bad fruit. Like it's just, it just, it doesn't make sense, bro. Just move on, better yourself. Don't do what I did. Don't start hoeing and shit. That's, I mean, that was young nigga shit. But move on and better yourself. But now, yeah, if y'all enjoyed that, man, like, comment, subscribe, bro. Let me know if y'all need some, want some more story times. I'm probably gonna drop them anyway. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, man, I'm out for sure.